I'm Joe Catalano with an AM Quincy news update for Tuesday, April 21st. There are currently 542 cases of coronavirus in Quincy. There have been 39 deaths and 165 people have recovered from the virus. Facial coverings are now required where social distancing is not possible in Quincy. Quincy Mayor Thomas Koch and Health Commissioner Ruth Jones have issued a public health emergency requiring all residents and employees to wear a face covering when entering places including grocery stores, pharmacies, home improvement stores, restaurants for takeout, and other locations where it's not possible to keep a six-foot distance. That order applies to common areas of apartment buildings as well. The order stipulates that the covering cover your mouth and nose and that it not be an N95 surgical mask, which are reserved for first responders. The order remains in effect until further notice. Quincy Public School students are attending classes online during this April school vacation week. The school committee voted to require the online learning in order to shorten the school year from June 23rd to June 17th. There was no online classes yesterday due to the Patriots Day holiday. Grab-and-go meals and learning enrichment packets continued to be distributed weekdays from 11 a.m. to noon at both high schools, the Snug Harbor, Lincoln Hancock, Clifford Marshall, Parker, Atherton Howe, and Montclair schools. Governor Baker said he would be making a decision soon on whether or not public schools in the state will reopen on May 4th. Quincy Public Housing Authority residents are being urged to stay in their homes as much as possible after multiple cases of coronavirus have been reported in that community. All visitors are now banned from public housing complexes unless their caregivers and deliveries are being made to the lobbies only. Quincy DPW officials are urging people not to flush disposable wipes even if they are labeled flushable. Officials say those wipes are clogging the sewer system and can lead to serious damage. Officials are also advising people to avoid putting cooking grease down the drain, which can result in major backups. Quincy High School, class of 1974, has donated $500 from their class reunion fund to the Quincy Relief Fund. Grants from that fund are dedicated to members of the community and organizations in the most need during the COVID-19 pandemic and health emergency. At this time, the Quincy High class of 74 is challenging other Quincy and North Quincy High School classes as well as individuals to do the same on behalf of their graduating classes. Those donations can be made at the website quincyreliefund.com. A slew of car break-ins in Quincy is under investigation. Police say at least nine vehicles were reported broken into recently in the Beechwood Knoll area and one in Quincy Point. Reports came in on Saturday morning from Rice Road, Dickens Street, surrounding neighborhoods. Police say personal information and some loose change were stolen and that all of the cars were unlocked. Interfaith Social Services of Quincy has indefinitely postponed their annual Stop the Stigma 5K road race that was scheduled for May 2nd due to the pandemic. Race director Paula Daniels says she remains hopeful that the race can be held later this year, but in the meantime, she asks that people make a donation to the fund that helps pay for their New Directions Counseling Center. The goal this year is $55,000. Daniels says they've already raised 36000 She encourages people to go for a solitary run on May 2nd to honor the event. Quincy Community Action Program says they're still accepting applications for their fuel assistance program through April 30th, and applications are also still being accepted for their rental assistance program for people impacted by the COVID-19 virus. Visit Quincy Community Action Program's website for complete details at qcap.org. And the Quincy Chamber of Commerce is also still accepting applications for their rental assistance program for people in the restaurant business who've been laid off due to the coronavirus crisis. Visit thequincychamber.com. Both funds so far paid over $300,000 in rental assistance. 
Manit Community Health Center is hosting a free online weekly support group from 10.30 to 11.30 a.m. through May 20th for patients of the Manit Medication Assistant Treatment Program. There is no commitment to attend all the sessions. Those sessions are being offered on the Zoom video chat platform, and the next session is tomorrow. Call 774-406-5410 and speak to behavioral health clinician Jane Farrell for more information. Reminder, curbside collection of trash and recycling is delayed one day this week due to the Patriots Day holiday yesterday. And a traffic note, the Four River Bridge scheduled to open today and tomorrow at 11 a.m. I'm Joe Catalano with an AM Quincy News Update for Tuesday, April 21st.